Welcome back guys. We are now going to be talking about the Ordo Hereticus Inquisitor. Now I believe Inquisitor Greyfax, the new Inquisitor model that uh, is in the Triumvirate, I believe she's in Ordo Hereticus, I believe so. Because she has a lot of the equipment the Ordo Hereticus guys here have. And a similar look. Uh, I don't have her stats and stuff offhand and all that, but I know from what I've just kind of gleaned that she's a pretty decent Inquisitor. Um, I don't know if she's worth her points without having tested her on the field. From, from what I can see, she may be. She may be. So I plan on getting her one of these days. And uh, when I do and have her information and all that stuff, we'll go over her. But for now, we're just going to go over the base Ordo Hereticus Inquisitor. 25 points, as all Inquisitors. Can be a Psyker um, using Daemonology, Sancti, Deviation, Pyromancy, Telekinesis, and Telepathy. Base War Gear is a Bolt Pistol, Chain Sword, Frag Grenades, Crack Grenades, and Psychic Grenades. Independent Character and Stubborn, which means the Leadership 10 is great. Same stats as uh, before. Weapon Skill Ballistic Seal 4, Strength, Toughness, Wounds of 3, 4 Initiative, and 3 Attacks. They can take... Uh, anything from the Inquisition Melee ranged or Inquisitorial Relics list, which is we've gone over with the Order Malice Inquisitor. But they can also take a few interesting things. An Inferno Pistol for 10 points. A Condemptor Bolt Gun for 15 points. A Thunder Hammer for 20 points. And a Null Rod for 25 points. Now a Condemptor Bolt Gun, I'll get the stats here in a second, we'll turn to it. It's basically a regular bolter with a um, crossbow armature on the top that fires like an anti-psyker silver uh, stake thing that's got like all sorts of ruining things all written on it. Which is why you see these uh, Quizzer models with a look that looks like a crossbow that they're carrying. Because technically, that's what they're carrying. Alright, Condemptor Bolt Gun uh, follows all the same rules for a Kami weapon, so the, the uh, Condemptor part this is a, a one-shot use only. It's basically a bolt gun and the secondary profile is range 24, strength 5, AP dash, assault 1, psi shock, one use only. And what psi shock does is if a psyker, brotherhood of psyker, sorcerer, psychic pilot, all those psychic guys is hit by the weapon uh, and it just says here hit by the weapon, not wounded, one randomly determined Psyker model in that unit suffers Perils of the Warp in addition to any other damage. <laughs> so, auto Perils of the Warp if you can hit them with it. Kinda nice. Kinda nice. An Inferno Pistol, I believe, is like, um... Uh, I think either Melta or... Yeah, a Melta gun? Well, uh, Melta Pistol? Well, Melta Pistol, very super short range. Very super short range. A Null Rod, now that is something we haven't heard before. And you can correct me if I'm wrong about the Inferno Pistol, because I don't use them very often. Uh, Null Rod is basically a range dash, because it's a melee weapon. Strength user, AP3. So this would be Strength 3, AP3. AP is good, the strength's not that great. Melee Witchbane. Which being any unsaved wounds inflicted on a modder with a psyker, brotherhood of psyker, sorcerer, da 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 da. Uh, by the Norwood, have the instant death special rule. Furthermore, the bearer and their squad cannot be targeted by psychic powers, friendly or enemy. So, one, they can't be targeted by psychic powers, which is great. No uh, psychic scream or any of that stuff messing you all up. But two, if you manage to get a wound on a psyker, it's an instant death wound. AP3 is great, so it's just the strength that really is holding you back. So it's, it's a good way to take out enemy psychers. It's a good way to smash them good with it. Um, and as you can see, the Order of Hereticus, of course, by their name and what you're looking at now, these are your anti psyker inquisitors. If you're going to need someone to take on psychers, they can take power armor for three points. And once again, what? Why wouldn't you? Now this is my current Order of Hereticus Inquisitor. As you can see, she does not take power armor. <laughs> but it's the only model I could find. And now with a Greyfax, 
out. I'll probably use her mostly for my Inquisitors. Because uh, I probably, except in extreme cases where I just need another cheap 25-point Inquisitor for the Warlord trait, or more um, Acolytes, uh, I'll use Greyfax because she does have power armor. I may not use her as Greyfax, may use her just as a base Ordo Heretic Inquisitor. Hereticus Inquisitor, and I think a lot of that will deal on points and do I need her abilities and stuff like that. So maybe uh, in the future when their her model is more, you know, out there and maybe able to be bought separately, I might get another one and kit bash it with some other stuff to make me uh, a, a custom Ordo Hereticus Inquisitor, which would be nice. Uh, they may take a Psyoculum for 25 points, big spin. They can be upgraded to Psyker Master Level 1 for 30 points, which is strange. You know, Psykers that hate Psykers. <laughs> An Inquisitor is a Psyker can replace their we any weapon with a Force weapon. So, there you go, for free. Alright, we'll look at the Psyoculum before we move on. And that is um, like the same thing that Greyfax has, that little thing over her eye with a little... Um, Hooked to the candle. That's a Psyoculum. The, uh, oh, where is it here? Psyoculum, uh, the bearer of the Psyoculum and their unit count as being Ballistic Skills 10 if shooting at a unit containing one or more of the following models. Psyker, Psyker Pilot, or Brotherhood of Psyker Social Rules, Special Rules, da 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 da, da. <laughs> However, this rule has no effect if the bearer is firing snapshots. So, if you can't use the ballistic skills in to be shooting flyers if you don't have um, Skyfire or in Overwatch doesn't help you, okay? Or if you've been stunned or something pinned to make you fire something to make you fire snapshots. But normally, yeah, you can just pick out a a psyker and uh, with the condemptor bolt gun. So you can see how this really becomes a thing. You start off with the basic Quizzer psyker, say 25 points. Give them the Condemptor Bolt Gun. So now they're at 40 points, which I think uh, Greg Frex has Condemptor Bolt Gun. Then you give them the Psyoculum for 25 points. So now for 65 points, you have a way of just blasting the Psyker out of the unit. Because uh, you can just tag the unit. You're going to get the hit. All you need is the hit. They're going to suffer perils of the warp. Now you got a chance in there of what's going to happen in Perils, but I mean, you could suck the whole unit into the warp. Or you could become, you know, the next version of the Hulk, but you, you go with your chances, but there's a good chance of, like, really causing some havoc and damage in any psychic um, backed units of your opponent. And that really is the Order of Hereticus Inquisitor. They're not too complicated. They are your anti-psyker Inquisitors. There is not as much uh, flexibility in this particular Inquisitor as there is the Ordo Malleus. Um, in the Ordo Malleus you can actually use certain things and build in certain ways where you're not really limited to that Demon Hunter kind of persona. The Ordo Hereticus, you're pretty much in that anti-demon role. That's what you're going to be building up. You're going to be against demons. Uh, not, I mean psychers. What did I say? Psychers. You're gonna be anti. You're gonna be against the psychers. You're gonna be an, a psyker threat. Uh, no way to get this character in invulnerable save um, through normal basic means here, unless you use psychic powers or such. Not what not. Uh, you're just kind of stuck. Uh, so uh, other acolytes and uh, retinue members that have invuln saves like the uh, Crusaders are um, probably good choices to bring along with this Inquisitor to help this Inquisitor out or put it in another unit that might be able to keep it safe. Alrighty, well that's all I have to say about the Order Hereticus Inquisitor. If you guys have any uh, questions, comments, uh, put them down below. Uh, Hit me with a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, hit that bell icon so you get the updates, and share the videos around because those really help. I truly appreciate your time you spent with me guys, and I will talk to you later.